Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to be going over the voltage divider formula with you and I'm going to derive that formula by using the node voltage method. So to begin with we have a um, circuit over here and we have a voltage source here VDC in series with R1 and R2 and what we want to find out is what is V out given this circuit uh, network that we have here um, and we have IDC here which is coming from VDC so first thing we're going to take notice of is the fact that we're going to say um, VDC minus V out over R1 equals IDC okay and what also is true is that V out over R2 also equals IDC, right? Because we have it there, V out divided by R2, that's gonna give us IDC, it's the same current there. So next what we'll do is, um, since these are both equal, we'll just uh, eliminate IDC and not include it anymore in what we're doing here. Because ultimately, it was a placeholder uh, for what we're doing here in terms of what we're trying to achieve. What we're trying to achieve is an expression for V out in terms of VDC R1 and R2. So we'll continue on from there. So next thing we'll do is we'll start splitting things up. VDC over R1 minus V out over R1 equals V out over R2. Next I'll go ahead and make some more room here. Next we're going to bring this negative V out over R1 over to this side and so we have uh, VDC over R1 equals uh, V out over R1 plus V out over R2. Next we're going to collect and group things together. VDC over R1 equals V out times 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Next we're going to add 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 together. We're going to need to have a uh, common denominator to do that. And the common denominator is going to be R1 times R2. And then, of course, on the top, that's going to give us R2 plus R1. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this over to the other side because now we can isolate V out, which is what we want our expression to tell us. And so now we have VDC over R1 times R1, R2 over R1 plus R2 equals V out. Now all we're going to do from this step forward is to simplify. Uh, so we can see that our R1's here cancel out. And so we are left with VDC times R2 over R1 plus R2 equals V out. So that is our voltage divider formula that we will use many times when we're doing other circuit problems. But as soon as we see the situation and we want to know what V out is, then we can automatically use this formula to get V out. So that brings us to the end of our uh, topic here on voltage divider formula derivation through the node voltage method. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.